the Fallout franchise has generally taken itself pretty seriously, but Amazon Prime Video doesn't seem to understand the importance of that for making good content. Fallout 76 is a multiplayer cash grab suckfest and therefore does not exist in this universe. Even with the strange wasteland perk and all the zany chaos within the games, Fallout is not a comedy. And yet, the trailer shows comedic scenes multiple times and makes a point to jar you out of itself at the expense of what should be a very dark preview. Although I have to give credit where credit is due, they have certainly nailed the costumes and set designs, and those people deserve an award for that because man, they look spectacular. But aside from that, Fallout has always been an exploration of humanity's reaction to the apocalypse, something that stems from the bleak and primal reality of human nature that is portrayed so gruesomely perfect in the Mad Max franchise, something the games have clearly taken inspiration from. So Fallout TV's content should reflect that. The games feel dark and almost hopeless through images, characters, and stories, in addition to your control of the character's choices choices that have consequences, some of which are severe and happen no matter what you choose. Lose-lose scenarios. Things that probably won't exist in the show based on what I've seen so far. You see, the general tone of the games doesn't always have to look dark to still feel dark. But TV shows and movies don't have the luxury of a physical connection to the audience with the controller or the choices. So the footage should at least feel dark to convey that apocalyptic feel. But this show looks like Barbenheimer. Everything is so clear and bright that even the dirt looks clean, which will be fine except for... It's also showing way too many images of things for far too long. Just watch the original Alien movie trailer to see a great example of showing you just enough to be interested and in such a way that makes you feel anxious about the reality of what you just saw. And speaking of feeling emotions from a trailer, you can't physically interact with a show or a movie, so it should at least make you feel something emotionally. Which brings me to the music. This song is not Fallout. Not even close. And I know exactly which Fallout game trailer they got this tone from, but the difference is that the game version doesn't suddenly stop for comedic relief, even once, let alone twice. So the song choice in the game trailers is a useful juxtaposition. It also wasn't a hyper-modernized version of the song. It mostly worked. Mostly. This isn't another game in the already established franchise either. This is building the foundation of something new, and it should be treated as such in the context that the audience is starting from zero. So far, they've set the expectation that this is going to be just another cog in the wheel of timeless, boring drama slapped down with unwanted and unwarranted jokes, instead of this being a ride that characters are not going to enjoy. So let's talk about that. The acting, with the dialogue given, doesn't seem to be exactly top-notch. The deliveries are just lackluster and don't give the audience any emotion to latch onto. I felt absolutely nothing when the people spoke, especially this guy's god-awful acting as he tries to hype up the difficulty of surviving the Oh look, dog munching flesh, funny! <laughs> of course, the development of the characters is yet to be seen, so the possibility for interesting people is still there. But even with the companions, the games revolved around a singular, most important character. So hopefully the show does the same, and the three so-called main characters are just one person with two companions as the story progresses. As for those three, I'm very excited to see Walton Goggins put in a great performance based on his work in the past. But Ella Purnell, on the other hand? did not showcase the makings of a good actress in Army of the Dead. That being said, she didn't have a whole lot to work with Zack Snyder. So I'm hoping that's just a one-off, and the attempt at comedy in the trailer wasn't her at full capacity. As for Aaron Clifton Moten, I don't know anything about him, and it seems like the trailer doesn't either. So fortunately for him, he has even ground to stand on, for now. His judgment will come soon enough as the story plays out. Oh yeah, the story. Based solely off the trailer, I have no fucking idea what the show is about, and that's having played the shit out of the games and researching the show. Not off to a great start. Anyone, game exposed or not, should know what they're getting into by the preview alone. And at this point, all anyone can tell from the trailer is that there's a bunch of weird things killing each other in a rundown part of town, and some girl looks really out of place. 
which for all we know, could just be security footage from a downtown area in Florida. Is it supposed to be action, comedy, or drama? It's a trailer that can't make up its mind. It could have benefited with no comedy, less dialogue, and a linear lead-in to the movie. The slimmed-down formula of the game intros seemed like the obvious choice here. But nobody liked those. Nobody! Now I know the show has yet to be released, so there's really only one definitive question to answer. Is Fallout TV entertaining? Well, the apocalypse has already happened in Hollywood, and if our time in the past few years has taught us one thing, it's that war, war never changes. And if they can remember that, then there just might be some hope.